Hello everyone, uh, this is Sugesh here. So now we are in the section of our general pharmacology in which we have discussed the pharmacokinetics videos. Okay, if, uh, I have made the videos on all the ADME that is absorption, distribution, okay, and metabolism and excretion of the drug. That is the pharmacokinetics. Okay, as you know that in general pharmacology we have two parts: pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So we have done with the pharmacokinetics concept. So you can watch my videos. I have made the videos on pharmacokinetics, all ADME processes and now in this video we'll starting with the pharmacodynamics okay so the meaning is clear the, what is the meaning first of all the meaning of pharmacodynamic is what does the drug does to the body okay so in this we will be actually studying the mechanism of drug action type of the drug action what are the drug receptors okay and what are the pharmacological effect on the body okay what are the results or the effect of the drug on the body for uh, actually the indications indications for use of each specific drugs okay and the adverse effect that is the side effects of the drugs so th this all uh, uh, concept comes inside the pharmacodynamics clear so uh, as you know that what does the drug does to the body pharmacodynamics and kinetics was what is body doing to the drug okay so which uh, that we have seen so now in this video we'll be seeing what drug does to the body the meaning of pharmacodynamics clear so first of all we have first concept is uh, types of drug action okay types of drug action means ki, uh, means what the uh, what drug can do what type of action drug can do so first we have uh, is the stimulation so drug can stimulate okay so drug can stimulate any receptor and increase the effect okay so that drug can do like adrenaline can stimulate the heart rate okay adrenaline clear now like this depression depression meaning inhibit or depress the function like general anesthetic drugs depress the cns activity okay so uh, they actually depress the cns so the functions of central nervous systems are depressed okay so that is the action of drug now comes the irritation the meaning of irritation is like topical drugs which are used on the level of the skins uh, like the patient is having pain sprains okay Myla uh, myalgia okay these are actually muscular pain joint pains so in that case the drugs which are used are called as irritation so that action is actually called as irritation in that category we have topical drugs which we have methyl salicyclate okay and now the replacement meaning of replacement is like any deficiency of any substance inside the body okay like endogenous substance we have insulin okay if the deficiency of insulin occurs uh, in diabetes malicious so uh, we can give insulin from outside so okay so insulin is acting like a replacement for that endogenous substance inside the body so that is the concept here now we have cytotoxic the so meaning of cytotoxic is to kill the cancer cells or any type of infective organism inside the body for that we use antibiotics okay for the bacterial diseases clear and anti cancer drugs for the cancer cells clear so these are the types of actions we are having with respect to drug clear now we have to see the mechanism of action so how the drug actually works okay so first of all we have the drug d just consider this is your drug and this is your receptor so if the uh, drug will only work if it combines to the receptor the drug has the ability to work only after the after forming a drug receptor complex okay if the drug is not able to bind the receptor then it will not perform its action inside the body so you will not get any type of biological response or pharmacological effect of that drug clear so drug acts as a signal okay it gives the signal to the receptor okay and receptor act as a signal detector clear so that what i have written signal detector and this is your signal and and the affinity what is the meaning of affinity here so affinity is actually the capacity of the drug to bind to the receptor so that is called as affinity of that drug to that receptor how much affinity the drug is having for the receptor okay so this process of drug and receptor uh, drug and receptor interaction is affinity okay and after uh, drug and receptor have interacted that is a signal has been given to the receptor now this uh, now they will form a drug receptor complex okay that will perform its action okay where the action is to be done and that is actually called as biological response or drug receptor complex so uh, so the uh, the formation of drug receptor complex is called as intrinsic activity okay so this process is actually called as signal transduction mechanism clear so uh, drug gave a signal to receptor receptor detected that signal and now the uh, drug and receptor will uh, bind to each other and form a complex and this complex will now perform its biological action 
clear so now the action is performed clear this much now uh, if we are talking about receptors we have some receptor states okay like uh, just consider r is for uh, r is denoting for receptor now uh, receptor can be inactive and af after its interaction with drug can become active so we have two types of actions with respect to receptor states that is the inactive status and the active status so we are denoting it with r and r star okay so now let's clear this r and r star concept here now we have types of drug receptor states so now first uh, state we have is agonist state the meaning of agonist is causing the shift of inactive form of receptor to the active form so meaning is said from r to r star okay so bind to the receptor and produces this bio biological response so just take an example like uh, if the heart rate is around just we you just consider we have to increase the heart rate okay uh, just consider 70 heart rate now if the drug increases its heart rate to 200 beats per minute okay so now this drug is actually acting as a agonist okay it is actually working at its maximum okay so like just consider a zero state then comes your plus one stage uh, plus one state okay now just consider like uh, 70 heart rate is just a level of 5 and 200 level of 10 so it is the maximum uh, level 10 so at the maximum level agonist receptor works okay now second comes your antagonist okay the opposite of agonist you can say but the meaning of antagonist is they bind to the receptor but has no action they actually does not affect the heart rate here just uh, just taken this example only if the heart is 70 heart rate if the drug is antagonist uh, to the receptor it will not increase or decrease the heart rate but what it will do but it will not allow other drugs to work because it will bind to the receptor site so other drugs will not be able to bind to that receptor and change the level of the heart may, may, uh, they may can decrease or increase so that is the main function of antagonist they do not allow other drugs to perform its action okay but they do, but they also does not do any action okay so that is the main concept behind antagonist and agonist i think it is clear now comes your partial agonist so it is also like agonist but it does not work at the level of like the uh, ability to increase the heart rate to 200 the agonist has but uh, but partial agonist will increase the heart rate just consider around 150 140 okay so that is the main uh, concept behind partial agonist so it will not go to maximum level but it will go to sub maximum level okay so it will shift the r to r star but the fraction of r star is less than that of caused by agonist so that what i told you okay so now inverse agonist will have a opposite action to agonist that it will decrease the heart rate okay so the heart rate can go up to 30 okay so if the drug is drug is having a inverse agonist receptor state clear so this was the concept behind the receptor states and we have antago antago antagonism we have different types we will discuss that in later videos like physical chemical we have physiological we have and competitive and non-competitive antagonism we also have so that is a broad con concept that we will see in next video uh, in when will we see that all the types of drug receptors next video will be on that only clear so now mechanism of the action of the drug now drug can act by two ways as we have first receptor st receptor mediated so drug will directly act on the receptor and stimulate its function depress its function okay replace that function so the drug will depend on the function of that drug now second is non receptor mediated the meaning is that it will not bind to the receptor but it will perform its action okay so it will not uh, it's 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 not linked with the receptor actually okay so let's see uh, the differences in some concept behind this non-receptor and receptor mediated state so in the non-receptor first of all uh, the non-receptor actually works uh, in many ways like uh, take an example by physical action meaning of physical action is like physiological processes like osmosis like mannitol is adsorbed uh, mannitol is actually transferred from uh, higher concentration to lower concentration in the case of edema so mannitol is actually a diuretic diuretics it comes in the category of diuretics you will study later on so mannitol is used in edema so it is actually not working on receptor but it is it is working by the process of osmosis so there is no law ro no role of receptor here so that is a concept behind the non-receptor mediated action of the drug clear some drugs work by adsorption like activated charcoal is actually used in drug poisoning any drug poisoning so this activated charcoal actually absorbs the excess drug 
okay so it is not acting by the receptor any okay now demulcent demulcent meaning a soothing effect which is done by cough syrup by coating a uh, layer of uh, co by by coating on the layer of mucosa where the uh, actually pharyngitis is considered as an example so if the inflamed uh, infl inflated mucosa is present so on that there will be a coating of this uh, coating done by this cough syrup by the effect of soothing okay so that is the main concept by this physical actions clear now we have some chemical actions also like anti acid is the best example you can take uh, like anti acid works by it is actually a weak base uh, anti acids are weak base and they actually uh, neutralizes the excess acid inside the stomach uh, the gastric acid because that can lead to peptic ulcer so anti acids are drug of choice for peptic ulcers also because they neutralizes the excess acid or gastric acid inside the stomach so it is not acting by the receptor any okay so this is just a chemical reaction okay so that is the main concept of uh, non receptor and receptor mediated now some drugs act by enzyme like uh, they actually inhibit the enzyme function okay like we have example of ace inhibitors okay here yeah, this ace is meaning is that angiotensin converting enzyme you will study this in the chapter of hypertension drugs or you can say anti anginal drugs so these are the category of anti anginal drugs or anti hypertensive drugs not anti anginal anti hypertensive because they are used in treatment of hypertension like captopril and enalpril the, the medicines which are ending with pril are the ace inhibitors the Just second one. medicine uh, which acts through enzyme is allopurinol which is used in the treatment of gout actually and it actually works on uh, inhibiting the synthesis of xanthine oxidase okay and it also reduces the uric acid synthesis so it helps in the treatment of gout okay now next process by which the non receptor mediated action is performed is by ion channels like in the local anesthetic drugs they actually blocks the sodium channel in the neuronal membrane and perform its action okay in the local uh, local anesthetic so that they are not performing by receptors they are performing by the ion channels and like this we have transporters mediated action Le like ssri inhibitor these are uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitor uh, the serotonin which is uh, released in the brain so the drugs which are acting by inhibiting this uh, uh, serotonin reuptake process is are in the category of this so they are, these are non receptor mediated the concept behind is non receptor and receptor mediated now the second comes your receptor families in which we have four categories okay uh, first is ionotropic ionotropic uh, receptor which are actually ion channel uh, ligand gated ion channel receptor okay so in which we have cholinergic okay cholinergic system the sympathetic and parasympathetic concept and nicotinic and muscarinic the muscarinic i have not written muscarinic also so meaning is that nm and m receptors okay so these are actually present on the post ganglionic membranes this nm and that is nicotinic and muscarinic receptors so these comes in the ionotropic category so these uh, the, the mechanism and concept of this receptors how they work will be discussed in the later video by the name of drug receptor clear so now we comes your gp cr that is g protein coupled receptors in which we have alpha and beta adreno receptors okay alpha and beta adreno receptors so just these are examples of the receptors you will study later on in every systems like respiratory cardio okay and cns drugs so in that all this receptor blockers will come so in that the concept will be cleared more so now you have to only remember this like a fact now enzyme like receptors uh, with the receptor which are linked with enzyme like uh, you have insulin receptors okay insulin receptors cytokinin receptors so these comes in, inside the enzyme like receptors now for this intracellular receptor that is it can be like nuclear or cytoplasmic in which we have steroid receptors okay so they work on the uh, membranes like cytoplasmic and nuclear membrane so we have glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids okay corticosteroids so all this category of uh, receptors or the drugs which are acting through the steroid receptors comes in intracellular receptors okay so this all the receptors i will be discussing in the next video in detail okay so all the concept and the examples and drug examples will be cleared okay so now in this video just it was a overview so i think it is clear the pharmacodynamics the first video so i think it is clear so do like share and subscribe the channel thank you